purpose of this video is to show you a few of the adjustment options for the block strap to help you get as comfortable as possible. The primary way to adjust the strap is with the adjustable slider on the bottom extension. If you pull the slider up, the cello gets lower. If you pull the slider down, the cello gets higher and tighter. The second option for adjustment is the adjustable slider on the neck extension that runs down the side of the fingerboard and neck. If the slider is pulled up, the cello gets lower. If I pull the slider down, the cello gets higher and tighter. This slider is going to be very helpful for you when determining the placement of your left hand, particularly in first position. Place your hand where you think first position should be and then adjust the adjustable slider appropriately to enable the cello to meet you where you want first position to go. The third most important adjustment options involve the chest cushion. The chest cushion will most likely be placed mirroring the shape at the top of the back of the instrument. However, you'll notice if you raise the chest cushion an inch or lower it an inch, or even push it one inch to the right or left, it can make a big difference on the distribution of the cello's weight and how it falls off of your body. In addition to the chest cushion placement, you can adjust the padding inside five sizes that the strap comes with. It may take some experimentation to decide on the preferred chest cushion padding and placement for you. The fourth way to adjust the instrument is with the adjustable slider on the main body loop. If you shorten the loop using the adjustable slider, that will increase the oblique angle of the instrument. If you loosen this slider, the angle will be lessened and the cello will feel more vertical. The optional waist belt can be used to increase stability and distribute some more of the weight of the instrument to your hips. The size of the belt can be adjusted for any and all waist sizes. After I've adjusted the instrument, I often feel the need to pull the neck extension down slightly to maximize the stability of the instrument. I also often find myself pulling the main body of the strap below my right shoulder blade to ensure that the motion of my bowing is unimpeded.